Okay, back with the Pro Spartan Gamer. Stuff on the table in front of us, on the screen in front of us, to do with the transfer deals here in episode 10. The big news is we secured the, the signing of Fraser Foster to replace Tim Howard in goal. There you see it on the right. £40,000 a week. We've done the deal to exchange him for Joel Robbins. It means we're short of a goalie, so one of the reserve goalies will have to be on the bench, but we're not worried about that. That's the deal done. I don't know if we want this Bozzetti. I'm not convinced that we're going to go for him at the moment. We're going to reject that one. We are interested in Fred on the loan deal, though, if that is still available. Um, Wanyama. That deal should have already gone through. I don't know why it hasn't. The Fred deal. I don't know whether we can accept that as well. We are interested in the Fred deal on loan. Just to bolster our attacking strengths. So lots going on here before the... Um, so the deal is going ahead with Alcaraz as well. Hopefully to go to Southampton which will free up a little bit more. John Stone saying he's been in good... We're also discussing wages with Brian Oviedo. So this will be a combination of the FA Cup game, I think, and the Premier League game with Norwich highlights and all the transfer deals as well here in episode 10. It's madness. And lots of stuff going on, always. Um, not really sure who's come into the club and who hasn't at the moment. I, I was hoping that Wanyama was going to be available for this game, but it doesn't look like that deal has been completed yet. I'm still waiting for confirmation of all these deals to go in and out. Like I say, it's total madness here at the moment. Um, and the game against Fulham is happening at home in the FA Cup now. So we're going to be into that one now. So highlights of the game against Fulham to come. Okay, so the side's up ahead there. Pretty full strength today. De La Feo on the left. Bartley back in in the hole. Ada McGeady on the right. Fernando McCarthy in the middle. Bench, you see Barry Pinar. Morales, Lacazette, this might be Tim Howard's last game, it could be the swan song for Tim Howard before Fraser Foster comes in and Victor Waniyama, the other big signing for the for the January window hopefully will come in as well, those two would be great and maybe Fred from Shakhtar the next on loan, a nice little whippy player in behind who can play on the left as well as in the Ross Bartley role and we'd be delighted if those three deals would happen That we'd be well happy with that the only other deal really would have been a centre-back we'd have been looking for. But we can wait for that. Anyway, Fulham game, FA Cup fever at Goodison Park. Come on, boys. We need this one. We want to run in the FA Cup. Been playing well in the league recently. Four, game, four wins in a row. Beautiful from Everton. Oh! Inches from Lukaku making it 1-0. Great move down the left. Delafeu, Bartley and Baines combining beautifully. Lukaku! Oh, what a great chance. Really should have buried that. Fernando going round the outside again. Good ball in. Lukaku off the post. Oh. And there's half time as we hit the post. And Lukaku, three chances in that half to break the deadlock and put us one step into the next round of the cup. But the beans on toast to save Fulham. Second half to come. No changes for us in the second half. We played well enough. Just unlucky we're not a goal up. If we play like that again, I'm sure we'll get the breakthrough. Still hasn't gone. Fulham's still there. Oh, and they missed a go edge chance. Clint Dempsey with a chance. First real chance for them today. Could have been 1-0 to them and we could have been chasing the game here. Nearly out of the cup. That's the fine Martins we're dealing with as well as we have played. Delafeo. Oh. 
All Everton here. Surely the goal's coming. It's too near the keeper, is it? Baines again. Great ball. Lukaku! Great ball from Baines. It had to come. We were all over him. They were camped in their penalty area. And a perfect delivery. And Lukaku's met it with that thunderous head. And we got the goal we so richly deserved here at Goodison Park. Great ball in. Great head of Lukaku. Brilliant ball from Baines. Keeper missed it and we bagged it. 1-0 on 67 minutes. Three changes then. Fernando off for Barry. Um, Pinar on for Barkley and Morales on for Delefeu. Lovely again, the link up play, and it's Baines again. Lukaku is two! That's game set and match Everton and Lukaku's found his scoring boots today. Great play from Baines. Great combination between Pinar and Baines down the left. And there it is. We're through to the next round. Gladys Street end, Park end go erupting here. Bullens Lane end, they're all going for it. Great stuff, boys. Go on, Lukaku. In for a hat trick. McGeady! Oh! Lukaku could have had six today. He's been that good. The McGeady coming in looking for his customary goal. No. Pino with the corner. Lukaku! Oh! Jackie Elka! Oh! Just wide on the left. Best display for a long time. We could have been six or seven up here. Really have dominated this. Fulham with that one chance after half time at 0 0, really. There it is. We're through in the next round of the cup. We've managed to beat Fulham here that we couldn't do in the Premier League. It was a ball draw 0 0, if you remember, a few episodes ago. But we've knocked Fulham flat out of the cup, and now we can get on with some transfer business, hopefully. Stay tuned for that. Man of the match, Leighton Baines. 9.4, head and shoulders above everybody else. 8.9 for Lukaku. Good performances also from Fernando and Delefeu and Magidi. Look at that. Really good all-round performance. Bain's coming good for us at the moment, that's for sure. So there you see Fred is at the club. And so is Fraser Forster. We're just trying to confirm the deal for Waniyama. And then we will have our three main targets. Alcaraz and Howard have left the club at the moment. Um, we do need centre-back cover, but whether we can hold on until the summer for that, I'm thinking we may well do. I just can't find the deal to secure Waniyama on the emails, but when we confirm that deal, I will let you know before the Norwich City game, OK? OK, second match in episode 10 then, and the last match of this episode, because obviously there's going to be more transfer deals happening. They're happening all the time. We've asked the board for a little bit more money. I don't know whether they're going to come back the one yama deal is still in the balance so if that doesn't happen we will be in a position of having about 10 million to spend on a couple more people um osman hibbert coney are all up for sale there's a couple young fringe players we've put for short-term loans as well um there's a team for the game against norwich you can see on the on the screen now fraser forster coming in in goal um we haven't got another goalie on the bench, actually. We ought to put Stanek on the bench, the, the young goalie. We're not sure whether we're going to stick with him just on the bench or whether we are going to look for another real cheap goalie as a reserve. Fred, the loanee from Shakhtar, is making an appearance in the cam position. Apart from that, it's pretty much a team we've been playing with most of the time. So, on the back of four or five good wins now and going through to the next round of the FA Cup with that comprehensive win over Fulham, we are at home to Norwich. And we want revenge for their 1-0 win in the first game of the season. Here we are then. Evening kick-off at Goodison. Mid-January. Half the window to go. Hopefully we're going to be in a position to do lots of deals. But we've got a game to win here. We've been on a fantastic run of late. 
We just need to make sure that continues. And here's Lukaku. Here's Fred, the newbie. Baines. Fred! Oh, nearly on debut. And then an offside. Great start. Fred looking lively. McGeady. Lukaku! He's on the real scoring streak at the moment. And has a fantastic header. And McGeady supplying the ammunition once again. He's been fantastic. And the Gladys Street ending raptures here. Great run and ball for McGeady. And what a good header. Angled his head. Lukaku. That's about his sixth or seventh goal of late. He's on a great run. He's a striker in form for us now. And that is a lovely header. Lovely animation there, EA. Well done, boys. We are up for this today. We've got Tremadol in the blood and we are going to pump it all hard for you this game. I'll tell you that now. Brilliant play again. Lukaku this time. Good ball in. McGeady. Oh, what a chance to make it two on the back stick. Great play from Everton. Down the left with Baines and Pienaar. Lovely ball in from Peanuts. Look at that. Should have been two. John Ruddy passed Everton goalie on 14 minutes. Lucky he didn't want bending into the net again. Oh, and they've equalised. First thing Fraser Forster had to do was come out. One night quick enough. And it's a goal for Norwich. I had nothing here. Don't know who it is. Gary Hooper, he's floating on midair. Ball over the top from Fur. Distan Gamble didn't make it in a slot edge, and we're disappointed with that. 1 1 after 21. Good game, though. Fur again in behind. Coleman pushed on. Oh, and they should be 2 1 up. What a great chance there for number four. Who's that? Gordon Bennett, he should be putting that away. A great ball. Pina! Oh! Forced a save from Ruddy. What an open game this is. Plenty of action here. Really enjoying this. Great pick out there from McCarthy over the top. Pinar went for a finesse far corner. Perhaps should have squared it to Romano, but anyway, Baines with the corner. Oh, it's 2 1. Weak at the back today, and Hooper's bagged his second. We've got to come from behind here against Norwich. Goals galore here. Look at that. Poor defending. Fraser Forster's had nothing to do all game apart from bend over twice and get the ball out of the net. Not the best debut for him. Good play. McCarthy. Great ball in. Oh, back stick. It's coming in. Pienaar had a tap in if it got to him. Half time here then Everton have got to turn this around. We started the game so well and then conceded two goals. Weak at the back. And for the first time for a long time, we're trailing here by two goals to one. Should be a good second half, though. It's been a decent first half. Gary Hooper, the scourge of Everton here. Only change at half time is Fernando on for James McCarthy, just because he's very tired. Recent run of games. We've had quite a few in a short space of time here over Christmas. There are quite a few tired bods out there. We will be making all three subs again, no doubt about it. Let's... Get back in this game as soon as possible and then we can go for the jugular, hopefully. Fred. Baines again out wide. Great ball in. Lukaku with the header out of the post. Oh. Good 
Unlucky there, great stuff. Baines again. This he really is playing well at the moment, Leighton Baines. Barry's in here. Lukaku! Oh, flag's gone up. Thought we'd levelled, but no. We should have just gone with Barry. Lukaku finished it emphatically. Desperate to get back into this game. We are bossing it in this second half. Throw in and the subs will now be made. Lagazetti on for Romano and Kevin Morales on for Aidan McGeady. Just really fatigue. Hopefully freshen it up a little bit. Really looks like Norwich are going to hold on to this. Feel a bit dirty about it. Don't think we deserve to be losing. Good play from Fred Morales. Corner kick Everton on the lock ins. Come on. Oh, poor corner from Fred. Ah. <sighs> It looks like we're going to lose our unbeaten run, and we have. We've lost to Owner Norwich, and they've done the double over us. That's disappointing. Really is. Good game for the connoisseur, but not for us. Not for Everton fans. I didn't see that coming. Not when we went 1-0 up early from Lukaku. And then we had that McGeady guilt edge chance to go 2 and out of sight. Didn't really create enough in the second half. That one disallowed goal from Lukaku that was offside was our best chance. Going to have to lick our wounds and get over that. That's the end of six games in a row. Winning, I think. And the transfer window now will, will take place in full earnest. There you see the stats. Ah, just the two shots on target and the two goals for them. But we've lost and we've got to get over it. Player stats. They've given it to Phil Jackie Elker at the back. Fred 6.2. McGeady was good again. The khaki not bad. Barry had a really good game. He did, I must admit. Fernando's gone off the boil of late, our summer signing. He's definitely not been the player he was. Don't know what's going on there. They've given Fraser Foster four on debut. Well, I was a bit unkind. He had no chance with either goal. Anyway, on to the transfer window now. Okay, just an update on the transfers. We've had our bid accepted for Wanyama, which we know we're just in the process of discussing personal terms with him. We have had a deal come back for... Giovinco if we wanted to pursue that but I don't think we do at the moment also deals Martin Indies from Feyenoord that is looking like it could be a deal done or there's a chance of a deal there we we are waiting really for more players to sell the board have offered us some more money but obviously it's going to increase the expectations of a top four finish which at the moment we are four points off um, still doable but that defeat at Norwich has knocked us a little bit, obviously. Anyway, on. There's another bloody game coming up soon against West Brom, which will lead us into another episode. So it's it's very difficult to keep this running and get some momentum in this transfer window with games keep coming up. Deal accepted also from Martin Caracas, the centre-back we've been looking for. He would be a great acquisition. We could get him for five million. He would definitely cover Distan's role when he left. He is right-footed, which would mean we've got two right-footed players back there. And I would sooner have a left-sided centre-back. But his stats are really good. He looks a very good acquisition. We're just going to keep that one. Archive that message for a minute. And also the Belgian manager job offer. Ooh, I mean, that is very tempting. I think we accept that. We'd love to be the Belgium head coach and we've got the gig to be the Belgium head coach. So why not go for it? So we've confirmed we're going to manage Belgium as well as Everton. Leighton Baines has asked for a transfer. What the hell? He's been our best player of late. Oh my God. What are we going to do about that? That's crazy. Baines, he's asked for a transfer. Um, 
What happens with that then? Baines. He's asked for a transfer. We put him on the transfer. Mark, he's in excellent form. The transfer demand is accepted and we'll see what happens. Some better blow for us. On to the next day, I suppose. All things happening here. It's a game against West Brom, so that's the end of this episode. I'll let you know what's happening with Leighton Baines, Aruna Kone, Hibbert, Osman, Martin Indies coming in, Waniama coming in, Caracas coming in. Lots of deals afoot as we're midway through this window. But you can come back for episode 11 and first up in that will be the away day at the Hawthorns against West Brom. I've been the Pro Spartan Gamer. Cheers dudes, I'm out.